Hey guys, so we're back with uh, the part two of our from our previous video. So uh, I showed you guys a drop two movement that was really good going to the five, right, with worship. Uh, but I also did another movement later in the video. So you got to go back and see it, okay? Uh, so I did a second movement and I said I would break it down. Now, it's really two ways that you can play this, all right? So we're in the key of C. Okay, now that first movement was I think we did the anthem or something just to kind of show um, an example. Okay. You can do. All right. Because that progression two, four, five, and instead of going to the five, we went to the seven right but you can still do that so you can just tell your bass player hey go to the seven instead of the five or if you don't you just go to the five right mm -hmm. all right now i did a second movement and i was playing greatest our faithfulness uh, here we go right here Okay, so that's what that movement is right here. All right, and there's another one too. So it's simple. I mean, not simple, but it's similar, but it's something like this. Let's just say we're coming from the two. Uh, you know, let's say six, five, right? But instead of doing a five, we do the seven, so. You see what I did? So you have two different ways you can play that. Um, and it's just, it really comes down to the inversion. So if you're here, you know, or if you want to do something like, all right, so let's break that down. All right. Now, of course, you can see a chord difference, right? Once I get here, it's like I'm playing an E major chord or the major three, and then the other one I'm doing. Okay, so we'll talk about that. But this is pretty much how I think about it, all right? When I'm on the five or the seven, but let's just say the five to keep it simple, I'm thinking about the four, all right? So hopefully this is not too confusing. I'm thinking about the, uh, the four. So whatever key you're in, once you're getting ready to do these movements, I'm thinking about the four uh, when it comes to this. Now, we've all done this, right? Right. It doesn't matter, you know, what key you're in. But if you play in church, if you're a gospel musician, you've done something like this, right? You know, all I'm, all I'm doing is I'm taking that to the four. Right. So in this case, uh, F is our four. All I'm doing in F is this, right? That's all I'm doing. So check this out. Let's uh, go on this one first. All that is, is the flat five, right? So which is G major, I'll just tell you the chords. So G major, that four is what? A minor six. And I'm, I know I'm going kind of fast, but uh, some of you intermediate to advanced people, you kind of already know these type of chords. So it'll be easier for you to just take. But if you're a beginner, you can just kind of look and see what type of chords I'm playing. It's really just a minor six chord. All right. So a B flat minor six. All right. I know it looks different on there. But um, all right, here we go. Uh, and I'm just playing a three. All right. So we've all done that. Okay. Now we still need to land back on the five in C, right? So all I'm doing over this uh, A flat, or if we're in F, it'll be the flat three, but you can just say the flat six, so you know, whatever. Um, I'm playing like a flat nine, right? So uh, the way I look at it is, 
a flat nine, sometimes what I would do is if my bass note is the A flat, I just go up a half step and play that diminished seven chord. So if my bass note is A flat, right? I just go up a half step and just play that diminished seven chord, okay? I used to hear people say like flat nine, and this is before I even went to school for it, you know, like music theory. Um, I was like, man, what's a way that I can kind of remember this? So that's just one way. But so we have this. And I think I did something like this. Just, you know, just kind of um, outline a chord. All right. So that's one way. Now, of course, that is kind of simple. That's with no fill or anything, right? Just. So I think the way I did it was, um, let me see. Uh, right, something like. Okay, so that's just an alternative. Now the other one, it's the same thing, guys. It's just a different inversion. So watch this. All right, and that's a little bit more feel because I'm kind of, instead of just playing a G major chord, right, you know, and then going to this, watch this. Okay, so I'm not playing just an F major chord, I guess, once I get there, I'm doing. Okay, that's just something you can do. But it's the same thing, guys. So I don't even really have to say this is a G major chord. This is a B flat minor six. It's the same thing what we did here. Watch this. Okay, same thing. It just, once we get here, I'm playing the major three. So now let's, we can either think like we're in C, right? And just say the major three over the flat six, right? Okay. Or you can think of it as uh, just saying, well, if we're still thinking like we're in the key of F, that's just a flat three. OK, so that flat three, you can just say, well, what is it the third of? Right. It's the third of E. OK, um, the way I think about this is I'm I honestly think like I'm still in F, you know, just to kind of finish it all out. Cause I don't want to be thinking, okay, I'm in the key of F. Oh wait, what's that in the key of C? Nah, it's like for the entire move, I'm thinking like I'm in the key of F, right? So, um, here we go. All right, I'm just like, yeah, this is the third of something. So make sure that A flat or G sharp, that's the third of E major. So if you're in the key of F, you can just say play the major set, like a, the seven of F, play that major chord, which is an E, okay? So this may be kind of confusing, you know, because a lot of stuff in gospel, I, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, like how many times if you ask somebody, hey, man, what do you do? And it's like they can't even really explain it, but it sounds good. These are one of those situations in a sense, you know, with this chord right here. Um, but yeah. All right. Um, and now that I'm playing this, I'm thinking about something that you can do over the one. So watch this how we do this all right i know this is not the lesson guys but i don't know it's something i was just thinking about so you can hold the one watch this yeah and that and that right there is a move that I'm pretty sure you've heard before, but doing this uh, movement right here and stopping on a five is pretty cool. But what if you just kept going? But I'll cover that in a different one. OK, so just let me know if you guys want that, because I don't want to just keep prolonging this video. All right. So here we go. All right. And you just land on a five. Now I have a sus. OK, and that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm gonna stop there. Uh, hopefully you guys understood this, right? I don't wanna confuse you. Uh, hopefully you got some value from this, all right? So let me know uh, that you guys were able to understand it, not understand it, all right? Take care, talk to you guys soon.